right? Playing in the 60s, we're way better in the 90s, huh? Uh, obviously a wild game. Um, not a whole lot of defense by, by either team, um, but we were able to kind of get a few stops there um, when we switched to the zone and, and obviously incredible efforts by, you know, Josh and, and Maddie and John. Uh, those guys really, you know, kind of kept us afloat and, and kind of willed us to the victory. Um, and, and we, you know, in the locker room afterwards said it's, you know, if we're going to be playing in, in March, we might as well be trying to win and, and have some fun with it. And, you know, I thought down the stretch, our guys really got into it and got energized, which was great to see. And uh, sometimes that's what it takes to get you over the hump. You had them to seven points in overtime, but they were kind of hot shooting the whole game. How much better did the guys execute in, on defense and in overtime? You know, it, it, they're always such a hard team to uh, prepare for. That style is such a hard style to prepare for on a, on a short prep, right? We don't see anybody in our league that, you know, cuts with that kind of precision and that timing. And um, especially after, you know, going from, you know, our loss at FDU, you know, some lighter practices during the week, you know, and now all of a sudden you're going to find a team that's, you know, has a unique style offensively. You know, they were, they were really, you know, it was both ways. It was, you know, they were making some threes. They were getting layups. You know, we were just a step slow on everything. And, and that's what that whole offense is predicated on. As soon as you relax or you step one way in the wrong direction, they're taught to read and go the opposite way. Uh, and they do it very well. And that's why we had to go to the zone. And I thought in the zone, we were able to kind of get them out of their rhythm offensively. You know, we forced um, them to maybe take some shots by some of their not as good shooters, you know. Uh, we tried to shade to Beheim, shade to Morgan, you know, not allow those guys to get as clean a look. And I thought that was really, um, you know, helpful to us in allowing us to kind of take the lead. Uh, obviously the 20 turnovers was huge for us. You know, a lot of that was just based off activity. Uh, and that's what we kept talking about in the timeouts. You know, can we just have some activity that can kind of, you know, get a deflection, you know, do something that can um, give us opportunity to kind of get a stop. Cause when they were shooting, it wasn't missing very often. When you have the performances like a Josh and Maddie, two seniors that understand what this game means and what's at stake with the loss, just how much is it where those guys lead by example and the rest just follow that lead? Yeah, I, mean, I think that's uh, kind of what those guys have done all year long. And, you know, we, we talked about, you know, with the team, the guys that really love to play and compete will be the guys that kind of, you know, rise to the forefront, you know. Um, and you saw some of the guys that rose to the forefront. And you saw some guys that maybe were, you know, half a step slow at different portions of the game, not playing with some of the energy that we've seen them play with in the past. Um, and so, you know, we kind of rode those guys because they were, they were making plays, they were making shots, they were fighting on the defensive side and, um, you know, kind of talking in timeouts to guys about, you know, getting stops, raising their energy, raising their effort level, you know, raising, you know, everything. Um, and obviously they were not only speaking it, but they were living it on the court. And I think that that uh, was critical to our success tonight. You know, Andy, we talked about this time of year, you know, maybe players don't want to play in a tournament like this, but do you think the first half was indicative of not being able to adjust to a style like that? Did it take a whole half? Um, I thought, I mean, I, I thought, you know, both ways, teams were, both of us were kind of able to get whatever we wanted offensively, right? Um, and I think you never have to, like, fight anybody to play offense. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta will them to play defense at times, and um, you know, obviously that's kind of been our trademark over the years. And I think, you know, even though we gave up 89 points, I thought we came up with some critical stops down the stretch. And I think it was a combination of both. I think it was a combination of let's see what maybe we can get away with from an effort standpoint. And I'm not really sure where my man just went right now because he just cut behind my head and, and I, I lost sight. Right. So I think it was a combination of both those things. Um, but I think as we were able, to, even even towards the end of the first half. Uh, we were able to zone them a little bit and, and just try and break rhythm a little. And we knew we were going to have to do that at some point um, because we thought it would be hard for us to, to match up and guard them with you know, the way that they execute offensively. Has anyone you've played all year run that kind of motion offense like they do? No, we try and avoid those people as much as humanly possible. <laughs> right. They don't do that in the Northeast Conference. No, not at all. When John makes the three, which leads to their timeout, and then the steal and score, was that maybe that turning point where you realize this is where these guys have it and maybe we can just manage it from there? No, I'm not sure that was uh, completely the, You know, it, it was nice to be able to take the lead, for sure, right? Um, but I don't, I don't know if we ever felt like, hey, we can just manage this down the stretch and, and you know, get her in the garage nice and slow without any bumps on the side. You know, there was going to be, you know, some interesting plays. Obviously, you know, they, they – um, you know, opportunity to win the game in, in regulation. We had opportunity to win the game in regulation um, and, and weren't able
able to do so. So we knew it was going to be up and down. You know, I think when Maddie probably made his third three in a row, I think everyone kind of exhaled and said, OK, maybe there's not enough possessions left in this game for them to <laughs> score. Uh, and, and, and if we don't score again, we might be able to win it. And that's kind of, I think, what, what, um, what I was feeling at that point in time myself. Another question for Coach?